The demolition team has guaranteed us that it's not going to be very exciting to watch. Nearly two months after a fire destroyed the Yonkers building, it is time for the demolition to begin. Slowly but surely, crews have been working on demolishing the Yonkers building after that fire in March. JCCI's Stephanie Nolte joins us now live downtown with an update on the progress. I've been down here many times over the last few months, and things don't look that much different. The roads are still closed, and there's still debris everywhere. But initially, there was a lot of falling glass. That has since been cleaned up. Now the demolition can begin. Friday afternoon, crews worked on the ground, cleaning up loose pieces of scaffolding and debris in the streets. There will be crews that are working for man lifts and doing a lot of the work by hand, taking down small pieces to make sure that the walls don't come down in a big crash, causing a domino effect. Phase one of the demolition is to remove the upper two levels of walls in the east building. That will take about six weeks. They really need to be taken down so they can, the crews can get a good look and reevaluate the exterior walls that are still standing to see if there's an opportunity to save them or if they also have to come down. Crews have also been out installing protective scaffolding along the hub tower and the EMC building in preparation for the demolition. Because of the, the close proximity to the building to the north, the Des Moines Partnership building, if we disrupt too much, there's a chance that wall may fall into the partnership. And we want to make sure that we're taking every precaution possible to make sure that that doesn't happen. Christensen says they're working as quickly as they can to get Yonkers cleaned up so the streets can reopen. But safety is their number one concern. After phase one of the demolition, engineers have to decide if this building is sound enough to stay up or if the rest of it should be torn down. All right, Stephanie Nolte, live in downtown Des Moines. Thanks, Stephanie.